This story starts with a man named Solomon, who was the son of David. He was also the king of Israel. God had told Solomon not to marry the foreign women, because they would turn his heart against God. Solomon did not listen to the Lord, and instead he had 700 wives. They had turned his heart away from God, and he gave sacrifices and offerings to other gods. Because Solomon did not listen to God and disobeyed him, God took the kingdom of Israel and tore it out of his son's hands. This is where we come to Jeroboam, who was the son of one of Solomon's servants. When Jeroboam left Jerusalem, he met a prophet named Ahijah. The prophet had taken a garment that was laid on Jeroboam and he tore it into 12 pieces. These pieces represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Ahijah then told him that the kingdom would be torn out of Solomon's son's hands and 10 tribes would be given to him. Jeroboam would be king over Israel. For the sake of David, God would not take all of the kingdom out of Solomon's hands, for David had kept God's commandments. When Solomon had heard of this, Solomon wanted to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam fled to Egypt. When he died, Solomon was buried in the city of David. His son Rehoboam took his place as king of Israel. Rehoboam came back and went to Shechem, where he was king. The people of Israel said to Rehoboam, Make our work easier and we will serve you. As Rehoboam considered this, he sought the old men that were part of his father's council. They agreed with the people. But Rehoboam ignored this advice and sought counsel in his young friends, who advised him to make the people work even harder. Meanwhile, Jeroboam had returned from Egypt. Many people were unhappy with Rehoboam. During this, it was when the kingdom of Israel split. Ten tribes of Israel were ruled under Jeroboam, and the other two tribes were ruled under Rehoboam. God had promised to help Jeroboam if Jeroboam followed and obeyed God. But Jeroboam said in his heart, Now the kingdom will turn back to the house of David if he did not give them some kinds of gods or idols to worship. Jeroboam did not listen to God because he thought the people were going to kill him and then turned to Rehoboam. Jeroboam made two calves of gold and told the people the calves were gods who brought them out of Egypt. The people of Israel would worship at the shrines of these two calves. One day Jeroboam was worshipping at one of the shrines. A man of God came up to Jeroboam and told him the altar would be torn down. Just then the altar was torn down and ashes began to spill out. When Jeroboam saw this, he cried out for repentance. Jeroboam then invited the man of God to come in and refresh himself. The man turned back and went the way he had come. Even after all this, Jeroboam did not turn away from sin. Jeroboam's son then turned ill. So Jeroboam's wife turned towards Ahijah the prophet for help. She disguised herself so that he would not recognize her, but he knew who she was because God had told him. The prophet Ahijah told Jeroboam's wife that her son would die because of Jeroboam's sins against God. When Jeroboam's wife returned to Jerusalem, she found her son dead, and the people of Israel mourned for him.